The big tent was a place where electric cooperatives held their annual meetings. And one person on this conversation who had a personal experience with that in, in a way that nobody else did uh, who's talking with us right here uh, is Fred Cole. Fred spent most of his working life with electric cooperatives and retired from the state association as the CEO here. But in Fred's early career, he pulled the tent trailer to take the tent to electric cooperatives where they would set it up to hold the annual meeting. Fred, you had personal experience, hands-on experience with that tent. What was it like? I'm glad it's gone. <laughs> my first experience probably was my most memorable. And my first experience was down at Berkeley. We took it down there and the tent came in five sections. And remember, there's over a thousand chairs and a stage under this tent to give you an idea of the size of it. I remember being asked, okay, which section goes together first? Well, that's the first I'd heard about there were sections going together in a certain <laughs> way. And if you did not put them together exactly right, you had to start all over again after you took them apart, which each section had seams that you threaded with rope all the way down the sides. Mm -hmm. um, I was glad to get that behind. Berkeley employees were not too happy with me, the lineman. Uh, but, I, you know, I remember that. But the tent itself, that was a different situation, a very on situation with me watching the people come under that tent, watching the socialization, watching the participation. And I think we had the best example of the co-op roots when we were using that tent. Molly Spearman uh, has spent much of her career uh, in education uh, and is our current superintendent of education for the state. But Molly began years ago as a young woman who simply experienced the tent or the annual meeting as a member. That apparently made a big impression on you. Oh, it did. Well, first of all, thank you, Fred, for all that you did to get the tent there. Um, it's one of my, I tell you, I grew up on a dairy farm. We were one of the last families in Saluda County on the end of the line. And my dad would talk about the day they got electricity and how, and we revere our membership in the co-op. Okay, it's very, very special, almost like the church and school to us. Because we're on a dairy farm and cows have to be milked every day, morning and night, 365 days a year, we never went on a family vacation, never. But the annual meeting was something very special. I loved music. And walking up to that tent, and the vision I remember is of that beautiful redhead, Miss Florine, on that organ in those sequin gowns. And she was playing theater organ music that I'd never heard live before. <laughs> And she would turn around and smile, and that's who I wanted to be, Miss Boreen. One, one of the uh, highlights, as it turns out, from those days was uh, the, the incoming entertainment, the paid entertainment. Vicki Oler uh, Cynical is the daughter of Florine. She was known, I, I don't think I'm speaking out of turn when I say she was known as the lady who wore the, um, shall we say, fitting uh, entertainment dress uh, and um, had that striking red hair uh, and could play such with such talent uh, that she made a memory uh, from lots of people. My mom sparkled. She, and she didn't buy anything that didn't sparkle. She, uh, she her whole life, she just she was just one of these people that that sparkled all the time. She would wear rhinestones daily. I want you to know, um, this conversation just came up one day when I was out here talking. These guys can vouch in the room, Mike Cowick, and we just started talking about the big meeting. And I talked about your mom and told him how much it had impacted me. And it just takes me back to such a happy time. Uh, and and uh, and it was for my whole. My father was musical, 
and they were teasing me a minute ago, but I, I really did dream of being on the Lawrence Welk show or doing something like Miss Florine. And my dad was always, he played the piano and he, his dream was to be on the Grand Ole Opry. None of us ever, we didn't make it, but we lived it through your mom. Teresa Hicks is uh, a longtime employee at Lynch's River Electric Cooperative, then afterward serving on the board, uh, and then serving as chairman of the State Association of Electric Cooperatives. But back in Teresa's other heyday, <laughs> she was a queen, a beauty queen, uh, memorialized here in a calendar from 1961. Teresa, tell us about the beauty pageants, which today also might seem a little, well, of a, of a time gone by, but it was a big, t big time. It was a big time for us. Today, there are lots of pageants going on. Back in the day, there were not that many pageants. Were you under the tent? Yes, the pageant <laughs> that I was in was under the tent. The pageant was different, the gowns were different. Uh, needless to say, we did put on swimsuits. They were different. Uh, we were more covered up than they are today. 